morning everyone, it's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. In today's workout, we're gonna do a variety of exercises, okay? I've picked 15 different exercises, all right? So many, a lot of them are compound, so we're using multi-muscle, multi-joint. A lot of them are cardio-based, so it's gonna jack up our heart rate for sure. And uh, we're just gonna go for three rounds, all 15 exercises, okay? So the format's gonna be for 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds to transition, so I can show you what's coming up. You can grab weights. Speaking of which, you're gonna require a variety of dumbbells, so make sure you have those handy, your water, towel, BCAAs, that sort of thing. Also, don't forget, you can check out below, and the whole workout's written there if you'd like to do it at a different time. Also, while you're down there, feel free to subscribe. I'm considering switching my days that I send out the videos to Monday and Wednesday. Right now, I'm doing it Wednesday and Saturday. Can you let me know in the comments below what you would like better, Monday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Saturday? Okay? Saturday, people seem to be like out and about in the sunshine and not really clicking on the video as much as, as they do on Monday. So let me know what you prefer in the comments below. All right, let's start with the warm up. Okay, I'm gonna warm you up here. If you'd like to just jump right to the workout, go ahead and click the number right there. Otherwise, join me with some arms, circles. We'll get those arms warmed up here. And uh, legs, the whole kit and caboodle. Oh, goodness. So we went on a big one hour bike ride on the weekend and um, I went to go again this morning and sat on my bike. Oh, my butt is so sore. If you, if you don't bike regularly, you really uh, need to build up the calluses on your butt bones, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, let's move into some squats here. Anyway, it was really fun. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen on my story that we um, we went down this big, long Mission Creek Greenway. It's very, very lovely. And then in town here, they have uh, another area called Rails with Trails. And it's an, uh, a biking path, basically. Let's go wide here, along an old railway track. So it's really cool. Anyway, that was our leisurely Sunday exercise. So nice to get outside and just be in the fresh air. And of course, now it's full summer here, very, very hot. So, you gotta get outside while it's not so scorching out, that's for sure. All right, let's get some high knees, just get some blood flow going here. You can modify this right here if you like. Let's go. And I went for a nice big hike this weekend as well. So that was great. I do love hiking. That's one of my favorite cardio activities for sure. That and this hit training. Like this kind of workout, it's fast moving, it's different, and uh, keeps me interested. So that's basically kind of my theme today is do a resistance cardio workout which I believe is just fantastic for fat burning. In three, two, and one. Let's go back to those arm circles. Whew, yeah, see that gets the heart rate up. Good, oh. And circle the other direction. If your shoulders bother you, always make sure to do some good stretches on them before you start your lifting. You know, it's just easy just to Kind of go right into it without warming them up. But if you're like me, that just really does damage more than it does good. Okay, squat it out here. Let's just go for 10 this time here. Drop your glutes nice and low. Okay, last four. Three, two, and one. All right, let's take it wide, plie, and down. So hopefully you had a lovely weekend as well and you're, well you will get this on Wednesday so it's midweek, hump day, you're probably ready for a good workout up right about now. Okay, high knees again. I know that I definitely am this morning feeling good and energetic as we move into this workout here. All right, get them up a little higher. Last 10 seconds here. 
in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, make sure you have the variety of dumbbells, your water close, and we're getting started. We're gonna start with the jumpy jack, two low squats right there, okay? Feel free to modify right here, and two squats right there. All right, let's go in three, two, and jack it out right here. Squat, jump, jump, and jack. Good. So I go wide and then narrow here. Wide, wide, narrow. Ten seconds. So, <laughs> some of these are going to be tricky, like a little bit of a mind requirement here. Okay, a little rest there. Grab some weights. You're going to go into a stationary lunge with a chest fly. So one in front, one beside. We're dropping down, squeezing together. Let's go and squeeze. Push through the heel to come back up and don't let those elbows drop below 90 degrees. 30 seconds a side on here. That will feel like work for sure. I've got eights in my hand here. So, because it's, in essence, you're doing the shoulder part for one minute rest, it's gonna feel like work, that's for sure. So you pick which weight is good for you. All right, a nice little break there, 15 seconds in between. Switch legs in three, two, lunge, squeeze, right there. We're going down to the ground next for some chest flies with a bicycle. So get ready to move quickly down to the ground. 10 seconds here. Woo! That is killing those shoulders already. Three, two, one. Good. All right. On your back. Okay, bicycle with a fly right there. Ready? Alternating legs, legs and squeeze. This doesn't have to be fast. Squeeze at the top. And keep those legs from touching the ground. Good, last five seconds here. Moving to standing. All right, to set those weights down. Moving to a split, split squat. Okay, so we're gonna jump, jump, squat, jump. You can walk this out as well with a reverse lunge into a squat. Ready, let's go. Split, split, squat. Ten seconds. Whew, that's a burner. Plank is coming up. Whew, got my quads. Okay, plank position. You're gonna bring a knee across, knee straight in, knee into Spider-Man crunch, then switch sides. Here we go. Knee across. Straight in, out to the side, switch limbs. Cross, in, side, switch. Switch. Keep your bum down, cross, in, side. Woo, that's good. All right, standing, moving into an overhead hold reverse lunge. So whatever side you're holding up, that's the leg that's reversing. Let's do it, low. Okay, it's gonna be a burner on that one shoulder. 
holding it up for that long. Try to go for the whole time. 30 seconds a side. You're halfway on this side already. Come on. If you can touch the ground with that back knee and keep good straight back, aim for that. Woo! Oh, that's a good one. Okay, switching sides. Rest while you can. Up, down, plank jack coming up. Okay, arm up, switch sides. Let's go. Your other hand can be out for balance if you need it. It's fine. I got a bunch of new tank tops made. I have this one, I have my hat, and three other new ones, well, different colors, coming out next week. It'll be on my website next week, so once that's live, I'll make sure I put a link. And you, you too can move daily with your tank top. Okay, up, down, plank, jack. This can be done from the knees to modify. Otherwise, your elbow, elbow, hand, hand, jack the legs. Here we go. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand, jack. Switch lead arms. Halfway. Nice. All right, let's stand. I'm going to grab eight. So I'm doing rows and reverse flies. So hinging at the waist, rowing, and a fly right there. Ready? And let's go. Row. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. That's it. Squeeze and rounded arms on that fly. Good, 10 seconds. Keep your body position still. Four, three, two, Time. All right, set those weights down. Going back down to the ground. You're doing a feet together, full sit up. Feet together, hands come behind you. Sit all the way up. Crunch to modify. Let's go. Lift my hands above my head here. VA squat to an upright row is coming up. Get ready for that. This stretch actually feels good in my glute cheeks from that bike ride. Ugh. Last one. All right. Stand. I'm going to grab my eights for this plia upright row. Plia. I said plia upright row. Not, a, not an exercise. Plie. Like a fancy ballerina. Ready? Shoulders back. Let's do it. Low, upright. Okay, if you have lighter weights, you can knock this out a bit faster. Heavier, go a little slower. All right, a push up with an ankle tap is coming up. So you're gonna do a full push up, reach back, opposite hand touches opposite ankle. Three, two, time. Good. Okay. I'm getting down here. You're doing a push up either from your knees or toes. Take a step back with your hand. Touch your opposite foot. Here we go. Then you switch which hand touches back. Switch. Reach that bum to the ceiling. Grabbing light weights next. All right, I've got my fives. 
I'm going to do a front press to the chest fly. So I'm going to be here, press front and fly. All right, ready? Let's go. Out, wide, elbows together. Out, wide, elbows. This requires a lot of core as well. You gotta keep your abs tight so you don't arch your back. Push and together. Ooh, I'm glad this is only 30 seconds. Last press here. There we go. Great job. All right, set those down. Actually, keep holding those, sorry. Alternating front lunge with a lateral raise, okay? Just like that. Alternating, here we go. Now, be sure to drop that back knee. You don't wanna lunge forward over your toe. You've gotta to drop down, okay? Down. Ten seconds. Good. All right, now you can set those down. Moving down to your back for an X position ab. Legs are wide, hands are wide, everything's coming up and touching. Three, two, and up. It's a little easier if you lift your upper body up slightly ahead of your lower. Keep those legs wide. Five seconds. Oh, that's hard. Okay. Moving into a double dumbbell swing. I'm grabbing my two eights, put between my legs, swinging hips back, powering up ahead. Here we go. Low pop. it. Power those hips. High knees is coming up and then you get a break and then we're repeating. Woo. All right. Good. Set this down. This is good. I like flowing from one to the next. Keeps it fun. All right. <clears throat> Ready? High knees. Let's go. Lift it up, just 30 seconds. That's not much at all. Something's ticking over there. 10 seconds, come on. Three, two, one. Okay, quick break and then let's hit the second time. Okay, round two coming up. Let's start with that jumping jack to squat jumps, all right? Get ready in four, three, two, and here we go. Up, low, low. All right, so you've done it once. You know your intensity. You know uh, where you feel energy-wise. So if you can jack up your weights, feel free to do that. All right, if you need to modify, do that. If you need to, it doesn't matter. And drop your glutes. Good. 10 seconds. Moving into that stationary lunge, chest fly. All right, I, think I used the eights last time. I'm gonna stick with that because we do 30 seconds per side, so that's enough work for my shoulders. All right, one in front, one behind. 90 degree arm, ready, here we go. Lunge, whoops. Up. No, I want to go down and up. There we go. Good. 
Don't want to make it more difficult for myself than it already is. Good. Six seconds. Squeeze, last lunge there. Okay, drop your arms for a second. Whew, little breather. Let's work. Work for the arms. All right, switching sides. Plus we're carrying an extra 16 pounds. All right, so open wide, squeeze together. Dropping down to the ground for that chest fly bicycle combo next. Good. Whoa. Now we're 45 seconds into that shoulder. I am feeling it. These eights are heavy. Three, two, time. It takes concentration not to let them drop. Okay. On your back. Chest fly bicycle combo. Make sure you have nice rounded arms in three, two, let's go. Open up, alternating legs. Open, squeeze. I love doubling up on exercises like this. Working my abs, working chest. Makes for a great fat burning workout. All right, excellent. Come to standing for that split, split squat. Good. Split, split, squat jump in three, two, let's go. Get low. I'm actually doing a nice jumping lunge. You can make this more shallow and just kind of do like a flutter kick squat jump. This is more difficult. Moving into that plank with the cross knee, knee straight in, knee out to the side. Three, two, time. Wow, that gets my quads bad. We're good. Okay, get down. Whew. Three, two, here we go. Knee cross, knee in and out to the side. Cross, in, side. Almost there, four seconds. And time. All right, awesome. Moving into what is called the reverse lunge, overhead hold. Okay, same leg that's lunging back. That's a hand that's doing a stationary hold. Ready? Let's go. 30 seconds aside here. Feel that in my quad. When I stretch back, I think from doing a hike on the weekend, stairs, and then that bike ride, really feeling my legs today. All right, rest. Whew. Good, shake it out. Switching sides. Get ready in four, three, two, and here we go. Reverse. Hey, if you missed our question and answer video, it came out on Monday. Make sure you check it out if you have any pressing questions. Some others may have had the same questions you have. Just about different things like our carb tipping point and how many cardio workouts do you do versus weights in a week. I've got those answers over on that video. All right, good. Getting down to the ground for some up-down plank jack. In four, three, 
two, and down. Remember to alternate lead arms here. And this can be done from the knees, and then you just pop up for the jack. Last jack right there. Excellent. Okay. Woo! Moving into that rows and flies. Okay, bent over rows, flies. I'm gonna keep my eights for that. That's enough for that reverse fly for me. Hinge forward, chest out. Let's go. Row, fly. Halfway. Keep a nice neutral neck. Look at the ground. Think about your rear delts when you pull that weight up. Squeeze your shoulder blades. One more row here. All right, good. Excellent, set those weights down. Moving to what is called, ooh, full sit up. Full sit up, feet together, sorry. Losing my spot. Here we go, all the way up. This hurts your neck. Again, you can modify. Do an ab exercise that works for you. Doesn't matter. You don't have to do this one. Good. We got that plie squat with the upright row. Grab your weights. I'm going to go heavy this time. 15s. Just to get a good shoulder burn. Push-ups are after that, so should be okay. Shoulders back. Nice and tall. Go down and lift. Slowing my pace a bit. Getting nice and low on that plie. Pushing through the heels. Powering up. Five seconds. Let's work. Last one. Mm. Okay, push up, ankle tap. Whew. Yep, push up, ankle tap is next. In four, three, two, let's go. One hand walks back, opposite hand, opposite ankle. Six seconds. Let's get another one in here. All right. Good job. Roll that, shake that shoulder if you need to. Okay. Moving into that front press. Okay. Front press, Arnold. Ready? Press out, turn, squeeze, and out. Squeeze. This is a great shoulder exercise. I really feel it right there. It's so hard to hold that weight up, isn't it? Control this. Wow. Oh, that's hard. Okay, setting those down. Actually, sorry, keeping those. I did this last time. Alternating front lunge, lateral combo. Ready. Three, two, here we go. Alternate. Keep your back tall. Do not stick your hips forward. Focus on dropping that back knee. Seven seconds. Okay, double 
dumbbell swing. Grabbing my eights for that. Nice and wide between the legs. Swing it up with that hip thrust, okay? That's the action. Here we go. Back, up. We've got high knees and then you get another break. And then we got one more round. Power. This is way more of a hinge than a squat. So reach those hips back. Three, two, time. Very good. Okay, high knees for the win. Then a break. Okay, ready? And let's go. Um, I'm sure I've told you about this before, but I'm drinking the sweet iced tea BCAAs by Mutant. The link's below. Um, it's so good. You're getting additional branch chain amino acids to help build muscle tissue. And it's a sweet treat at only five calories, so you are not breaking the bank. Sweeten with stevia. Okay, take a break and then join me back for our last circuit. All right, ready for the last round. Let's start with that jumping jack double squat jump. In three, two, here we go. Jack, low, low. That's it, drop your butt nice and low. Get good benefit from this jack here. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, good. Grab your weights for that stationary lunge. Chest fly there, okay? 30 seconds aside. Get them up. Stationary lunge. Here we go. Low. Squeeze. Make sure your elbows are staying at 90 degrees. Okay. Woo. This one is probably one of the hardest ones for me with these eight pound weights. So I just really feel that back quad. I must have really worked it this weekend. Three, two, and rest. Holy, it's hard. Okay, switching sides. Little well-deserved break here. In four, three, two, let's go low. Squeeze, going down for that chest fly bicycle combo next. All right, almost 10 seconds left, let's go. Come on. You'll break in five seconds, don't stop now. Three, two, oh, that was hard for me. Okay, on your back, oh. Just fly, in four, three, two, let's go. Open, close. Stay over the chest, remember, not up over the head. Remember to squeeze your chest, your pec muscles at the top. All right, nice. Woo, split, split squat coming up. Let's stand for this bad boy. Oh, this one's hard. Not easy. Ready? And drop it low. 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 Squat. Alternate lead legs if you can do that. Get low. Come on. 
So let's feel that squat. Got that plank coming up. Three, two, oh. Uh. Couldn't do one more. Okay, down we go. Knee cross, knee straight, knee out. In four, three, two, let's go. Good on the abs. And shoulders too. Almost there. Okay. Nice. Good. Let's go into that reverse lunge overhand hold. Same side for 30 seconds. Ready. Here we go. Remember the same side that you're lunging back. That's the hand that's holding. Halfway. Almost there, guys. One more here. And rest. Oh, good. I love that shoulder burn. It's good to get those built sexy shoulders. Right? All right. In four, three, two, take it back. Halfway. I have to concentrate on this one. Just keeping my back straight and preventing it from arching at the bottom. It's work. All right, rest. Nice. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's go to that up down plank jack. So good. Three, two, start. together. Pull and squeeze each time you come up on the row and the fly. Four, three, two, time. Good job. Okay, down you go. Full sit up. Ready? In four, three, two, and up. Please, if this hurts your back, just modify. You can do a crunch down low. Okay? Some of these ab exercises are not super easy on the back. I think I forgot the exposition abs in our last one. Didn't I? I did. That happens to the best of us. We might have to throw two rounds in. Sorry, girls. My bad. Okay. Good job. Come to standing. Plie upright row. I'm going to grab my heavy weights again for this. Nice and wide. Shoulders back. Let's do it. Low. 
up. Lift those elbows higher than your wrists. Halfway through. Watch your teeth. That push up coming up. All right, time. Nice. Whew. Push up angle tap. Just gonna toggle this for a second. Okay. In three, two, start. Arnold press. Okay, overhand grip. Press out in front. Then 90 degree arm. And press. Turn. Squeeze. That's it. Ooh. Really control this. This is hard right here. Yep. Press. Halfway. Oh. That's so hard. Almost there though, come on. One more. Press and turn. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, we've got alternating front. I did it again, I put them down again. Alternating front lunges, lateral raise. In four, three, two, here we go. Now we've got those X position abs coming up next. Ten seconds. Oh, this is hard. Brutal. Okay, we're going down for two rounds of those, and then we'll finish off with the double dumbbell swing and high knees, and then you're done. Exposition abs for a minute, okay? But with a 15 second break in between. Three, two, up. Please modify this by bending your knees if you want right here. Okay, a little easier on the back. Okay, break for a second. Let's do a little stretch there for 15 seconds if you want. Yeah, I do feel that in the back. Again, modify if you need. Okay, ready? Here we go. Almost there. Less than 10. Come on. Uh, brutal. Okay. Stand up for that double dumbbell swing. Whew. Make sure you wait a bit if you're dizzy, okay? Take it wide. Together. Let's go. Pop those hips forward. Almost there, five seconds, push. Three, two, oh, yeah. 
Good job. Okay, high knees to finish off this whole workout. We'll just finish off with this stretch as well. If you can stay for that, please do. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Ready? Let's go. Thirty seconds. Come on. Get those hands in there too. Nice and high. Come on. Halfway. Go, go, go. A little harder, a little faster. Four, three, two, time. Oh, you're done. Okay, hopefully your heart rate's come down a little bit. Let's end with a little stretch here. I'm gonna get on all fours, tuck that arm under, and just camp out right here for a few seconds. Whoa, it feels good. Good, high intensity workout, nice and fast. I like that fast pace. And actually that format, switch sides, I really liked it, um, it just felt like it went by faster, for me anyway. I don't know, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this format, okay? I'd love to get your input. I might fall asleep here, I'm just saying, this is really comfortable. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling my lower back, so I'm gonna stretch out this way. Let's go on to our back. Have the knees, little rolls right here. Oh yeah, that's good. I think I'll bring my foam roller onto the next video and show you a couple of things that I do rolling wise, just to keep the hips, glutes, hamstrings, quads loose, okay? Um, I think it's really important to do that. It just feels really good as well. Okay, let's cross over. Let's bring the legs right across each other like this. Grab your ankles and pull towards you, okay? Oh my gosh. If you can't quite get into that pretzel position, just cross the leg over and pull towards you as you can, okay? It doesn't have to be full crisscross like this. Anyway, so yeah, the foam roller just is so good. And if you do a lot of exercises, a lot of leg exercises, glutes, hopping, jumping, that sort of thing, switch sides, um, I feel like you need to do that. Oh, goodness. I think it's, it's good to keep that fascia, which is that layer of sort of saran wrap over top of our muscles, nice and pliable, right? If you use those muscles a lot, everything gets hit really tight. This helps smooth everything back out again. So that's why I like the foam roller. Oh, that feels amazing. Okay, let's go into just a hamstring stretch. Flex the foot, push your heel towards the ceiling. Pull that towards you, okay? Oh, yeah. If you can grab the outside of your shoe and just give that a nice tug. As long as there's no pain, you just wanna lengthen through the muscle, not pull it. Okay, you do what you can for yourself. Switch sides. Good. And stretching. So I hope you caught our little question and answer video that was uh, posted on Monday. If not, I'll just post the link right up top there. You can check that out in your spare time. Um, it's a little bit longer of a video than I wanted to make it, but when I start talking and rambling about questions, I, I guess I have a lot to say. <laughs> okay, let's sit up. Little butterfly stretch here. Um, so there were some great questions, again, about carb tipping points and um, how to break down your workouts and even about my skincare routine, which is not great. I'm not lying about that. It's not the best, but you know what? It works for me, so that's what you got to go with. Um, at least you know I'm not going to be trying to sell you something because I'd be embarrassed to sell you what I use, but anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, check that video out. Again, the link's right up at the, at the top there, so... You can let me know what you think about that in the comments below and if you have any additional questions that you like answers to, okay? All right, let's sit cross-legged. I'm just gonna stretch back, stretch the chest open. This is a great stretch. You know, we're on our computers, phones. We get very tight pectoral muscles in here just from all this rounded, right? Every day you should do an opening stretch where you're just lengthening back out through your chest muscles, through the pecs. Actually, I tell my one client, every time he goes through a door frame 
to stop on, put a hand on each side and lean through the door frame to stretch open this area. Okay, I think that's a good, a good thing to remember to do every time you walk through a door frame. It takes what, like 10 seconds to give it a nice little stretch, but it'll be very beneficial for you. Okay, last one, round through the back and just a little side to side here. Excellent. Thanks for joining everyone. Hey, if you like this style of workout, these high intensity um, strength cardio, go ahead and click or tap the screen right here or here for more like it. And I'll see you in the next video.